Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little tutorial about all the emitter setting stuff in Cinema 4D. Um, once you put in an emitter, which is under the little green square that's shooting on all the circles, and you grab an emitter, um, it's <clears throat> it's just this white square with the orange uh, sides and you can't see it but you have all these settings here for your emitter um, and if you click play it will shoot out all these particles and you won't be able to see anything um, emitters you can use to um, make fire, uh, make smoke, make a whole bunch of stuff. Um, for the smoke, you have to have an emitter, and an environment. I'm just going off my memory here. Don't exactly remember, so one moment. Um, okay. Where is it? Well, I know if you change like that to fire, then I know there's a setting uh, someplace in here that uh, changes the color for you, so you don't have to. There we go. If I change it to fire and then click yes, it will change all the settings so it's like a fireball. And I believe you drop the pyro cluster onto the emitter and then the pyro cluster volume tracer onto the environment. And if we click play, yeah, if we click play, you'll see these big, this big like smoke fireball type thing just let it render out yeah it it's mostly good for smoke so if you have like if you want to make clouds in cinema 40 you can um, set it so set the what should I call it the settings so it looks like a cloud um, it does take a really long time to render because it's all particles and everything but I think if I zoom out a lot it should render faster there we go as you can see it looks like a cloud and then if you had a sky object and everything on there it would work but I'm just gonna delete these two materials um, and also good use of an emitter is um, you, you can put objects into the emitter. So if I shrink down the circle and let's say I wanted a big shower of circles. What all I need to do is put the sphere the size that I want, drop my sphere into the emitter, and then play. And then when we render it out, you can see this is all our spheres that are coming out of it. A um, uh, little tip is every single one of these white little lines represents a sphere. You can look at it like that or you can click the show objects in your emitter settings and it'll show the, the, the spheres instead of the white little lines. Um, you can crank up the birth rate of your of um, the emitter so more come out you can set the life the rotation of them um, the variation the seed of everything you can set when it starts and when it stops and all this good stuff um, but then there's all of these other things like an attractor if you put like an attractor up here let's say a bit higher than our um, emitter 
and we put the strength of it to 2,000, we'll say. Now if we play, oh shit, okay. I don't know why but my Cinema 4D freaks out. Anyway, um, I think I put that. Let's go 200. Hopefully that that runs. We can see that all of the balls are going to our attractor. You just have to mess around with some of these settings, and you'll get it. Um, and let's say you wanted a wind object. So if you wanted, this is all what, you can make the attractor do this too, but um, if you wanted your, I'm not sure which way, it, it oh okay, has an arrow. Um, let's say you wanted them to come out and then get blown to the other side. You can put this, and you can see they're all going to the left now. They're all swooping out to the left because of our, our wind object. Or you can add a turbulence object where obviously they would they would shake. Uh, a scale. We'll set the scale to like 5%, I think. I've never really used the turbulence. You can you can see them kinda see them moving. It's it's tough, you gotta Probably with the strength of 10 and then the scale to like uh, 50 and yeah you can see them spreading out now. Um, turbulence on a plane is it'll basically do that for you. Um, rotation will make them spin. Destructor I believe if they go in there they just get destroyed. Yeah they just disappear. Um, Deflector. This is a neat one. If you have uh, your emitter and it shoots out, it'll actually bounce off your deflector and send it in that direction. Um, you can have a gravity object where uh, when they get in it, uh, gravity will come in play and they'll start dropping. Just like that. Um, friction, I don't believe, I'm pretty sure that's going to slow them down. I think that's just going to slow them down. Yeah, it's like they're going through something. That's, and then they'll start speeding up again once they get out of the other side. If I'm correct. Uh. Um, what else is there? And that basically covers all of the emitter settings. Emitters are good. Uh, you can make volcano stuff. You can like the volcano smoke fire, like I showed you earlier. You just need to go around with the parameters and the settings. I um, hope you found this useful. And I was looking on my um, <coughs> YouTube channel today because I was gone uh, for a while there. That's why videos haven't really came out. I have 96 subscribers. I already have the intro template made and ready to go. All we need to do is reach that 100 subscribers and uh, all my subscribers will get the intro template. Uh, it's been almost three years on YouTube. And I've got 96 subscribers. But anyways, uh, if you guys liked the tutorial, um, leave a comment or put the thumbs up button. It really helps because I don't get a lot of thumbs up on my videos and so I don't know if you guys like them or don't know what you guys want to see. So leave comments, uh, subscribe, subscribe if you're not, and if you like my videos, uh, comment for it. Any other videos that you guys want or tutorials. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, peace out guys.